Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 28th, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus. I am the Chief Market Strategist for Push Button Stock Trading, and this is your daily video market review. Markets rebounded on mixed volume yesterday. The NASDAQ Composite and the IBD 50 booked accumulation days. The Russell 2000 snapped back, regaining its 50-day moving average and bettering the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ Composite on a percentage basis. The Russell continues to lag and arguably remains in a downtrend on a short-term basis. The IBD 50 easily outperformed both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, indicating that leading stocks continue to assert themselves in this market. The market's in a confirmed uptrend and our one to six month timing model is on a buy signal. Large caps again edged small caps yesterday and continued to outperform on a 10 day moving average basis. This is out of character for a confirmed uptrend when small caps generally are more likely to outperform. The fact that large caps are still leading should lend a note of caution to the bulls as should the divergence between the S&P 500 and the Russell 2000. Our Ramosi swing timing model is neutral on the market. The market continues to be confused here with conflicting signals. We remain bullish for the most part, but we're bullish with a healthy dose of caution. We're looking at the Russell 2000, and the reason that we're looking at the Russell 2000 is I want to point out that the Russell, in spite of having a good day yesterday, still appears to be in this downtrend. The Russell recaptured its 50-day moving average yesterday, which is bullish. Um, we'll see if we can hold above that level. Right now, the Russell is bracketed by resistance up here in the 1279 area and support down here in the 1222 range. Importantly, the Russell seems to be balking at this trend line resistance. This trend line had been support for the past year. When the Russell violated that trend line at this point right here, that trend line becomes resistance. We want to see the Russell break back above that trend line or at least take out this resistance in the 1279 area. That would be healthy for the overall market. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. The NASDAQ yesterday was up 73.84 points, or 1.47%. NASDAQ recorded a new closing high yesterday, or at least a new recent closing high, at 51.06. Trading volume was above the prior day, giving us an accumulation day. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are currently in a confirmed uptrend with one distribution day since confirmation of that uptrend on May 14th. NASDAQ is bracketed by support down here in the 4847 area and resistance up here in the 21 in the 5120 range. We're still looking for the NASDAQ to take out its all-time record high, which was set on March 10th. 2000 at 5132. Right now on our one to six month timing model, the NASDAQ is on a buy rating. And let's take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P yesterday was up 19.28 points or 0.92% underperforming both the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000. The S&P closed at 21.23. Trading volume was a little bit below the prior day. The S&P is on a confirmed uptrend right now with one distribution day since the market confirmed the uptrend on May 14th. The S&P is bracketed by support down here in the 2040 area and resistance up here in the 2135 range. We are on a buy signal on the S&P. Let's take a look at a couple of stocks. First stock I want to take a look at is 
Mallinckrodt PLC, which develops generic and branded pharmaceuticals and active pharmaceutical ingredients to treat pain and related conditions. Mallinckrodt has just about everything going on. Let's take out this downtrend line because it's no longer valid. What we're seeing in Mallinckrodt is this double bottom formation, which has a buy point of 130.85. We can also call this a cup and handle formation, which would give us a buy point of 130.25, or we can call it a consolidation, which would give us a buy point of 134.26. Or we could call this a pocket pivot, which it put in yesterday, by trading higher volume than any down day in the past 10 sessions. By virtue of the pocket pivot, Mallinckrodt becomes a buy here. You can buy in anticipation of the breakout from the areas that we've talked about. Mallinckrodt is setting up a second stage base and has a 72% checklist rating. Let's take a look at EPAM. EPAM right now is trading in a second stage base with a pivot point of 70.49. It gets a checklist rating of 68. We also have an obsolete trend line in EPAM, and so let's get rid of that. EPAM Systems provides outsourced and lifecycle software development services such as design, prototyping, testing, and migration. Yesterday, EPAM also had a pocket pivot, trading higher volume yesterday than any down day in the past 10 trading sessions. EPAM bounced off of its 21-day exponential moving average and its 10-day simple moving average to close higher. EPAM can be bought off of this pocket pivot today in anticipation of the breakout at 70.49. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks we mentioned today or our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. If you're out of the area, we can set up a Skype session. A reminder, if you've not already done so, please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. I will be on vacation until Wednesday of next week. I will be back in the office on Wednesday, June 3rd. Again, my name's Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again on Wednesday, June 3rd. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push-button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis, calculations, and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell 
a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of push button stock trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.